Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, we are on the batteries here for the kayak. Uh, I've got a piece of, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a joke, it says 999 fine copper, but all it is is just copper bus bar. You can buy these, you can buy just copper bus bar, or you can get something fancy like this. But what I want is I want to, and by the way, I changed all the the old cadmium or galvanized uh, zinc plated hardware for stainless steel naturally for corrosion resistance. I did notice, I did notice that this particular one on this end is pretty shallow. And I don't know if you could see it or not in there. But on this end, it's quite a bit more, uh, quite deeper. So, in order to get a good bite uh, on that side, I mean, whenever I drill the hole, I'm going to make this, which I can look at it right here, kind of get an idea. And it's about. Uh, like I said, I can mic it a lot better, but it appears to be right at about five eighths of an inch. And not quite, more like nine sixteenths, somewhere right around there. But anyway, we try to hollow these out so it sits in there in recesses and it won't move. Now I got one piece of this, we're going to segment it in three lines, cut it off the length we need because I want a little bit of spacing between these, you know, something right around there because I want the battery to be compact but you don't want them, if you can avoid it, touching one another because the outer body of this is ground all the time. So. And another reason I'm going copper and not the little thin nickel strips that you can get for these is I want something a little bit hardy. And not only that, I want something I can solder to pretty easy. I have some thick copper, I know, but I can still probably get it soldered on there pretty decently. So anyway, let's get to it.